Hey, what's up guys? This is Danny from AE Scripts. I'm here to show you my latest update to my plugin called Lazy. For those of you who aren't familiar with what Lazy is, essentially what it is, is it allows you to distribute layers and keyframes across the timeline using a Bezier curve. So as you can see, this is our newest updated interface right here. Um, we have, uh, this should be pretty familiar with you. It's a Bezier curve, obviously. Here we have our handles. Um, down here you can see the duration of the distribution. Right now it's set to 30 frames. And this is a toggle that allows you to toggle between ascending and descending distributions. So uh, some of our latest updates in here, obviously is the newest UI. Uh, we got rid of a ton of bug fixes and um, it should run a lot smoother and will allow you to do a lot more distributions than you were able to do in the past. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. So right now I have this composition set up and there are 10 layers here um, and all of them are moving from left to right all onto the screen. So as you can see, we have these each individual layers here. So right now they're all uh, moving at the same time at the same pace and it honestly just looks like a regular huge shape layer moving across the screen. So normally what you would want to do if you're doing a uh, distribution is you'd select all your different layers. Uh, trim them, then you would go right click, keyframe assistant, and then sequence layers. And now, as you can see, they're all sequenced, but they're all sequenced run one after each other. And you could have them offset on each other so they would, uh, uh, wouldn't be distributed to the end of the layers. But even then, you still have a linear distribution. And uh, one of the most imperative things to know about motion graphics in general is the concept of easing. So. We took this concept of easing and we brought it into layer distribution and keyframe distribution and that's why we're calling it the second dimension of After Effects easing. So let me show you a little bit of how Lazy works here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of our layers here. Uh, we're going to determine the duration of the distribution that we have here. So let's say that we'll just leave it at 30 and let's leave it toggled to a descending distribution. All you have to do is decide on the curve that you want. We're gonna do just a little bit of an ease out here. Okay, so it's gonna shoot up. Um, and then as we get closer to the end of a the distribution, they should be more spaced out. So now, as you can see, let's hit the tilde key and bring up our whole uh, timeline here. We have this distribution where the first few layers in the selection are more closely together. But as we grow along here in the timeline, we can see that they are uh, become more and more spaced out. So let's get a little bit of an idea of what that animation actually looks like. Beautiful. All right. So as you can see, we have these first layers, like I said, fairly close together. But as we go closer and closer down the timeline, they get more and more spread out. Now, uh, a simple command Z will get you right back to where we started. Um, now let's see what a regular uh, ease looks like here. So this is just an easy ease that we're going to do here. So now what we're going to see is the first layer is going to come on fairly slowly, but the middle layer is going to come on closer together and we'll end with the last layers coming out farther apart. Beautiful. So like I said, second dimension of um, After Effects easing here. Uh, it's really hard to accomplish this without a, a tool like Lazy. Uh, normally you'd have to kind of guesstimate where a where these layers would fall along a typical Bezier curve that you're wanting to make and it's really just uh, a pain to do that. So uh, let me show you a little bit more about this interface. If we right click we can get back to our uh, standard um, distribution. So as you saw right ha what happened right there um, one of the newest things in our update allows for the distribution to take place at the start of the playhead. And I know that that was a, uh, one of the biggest feature requests in, in Lazy. So we went ahead and did that for you guys. Uh, I'm loving it. It's, it's, uh, it saves a lot of time when, especially with keyframes, which we'll cover here in a second, instead of having them all start at the beginning of the timeline, now it actually starts at where your playhead is. Um, so like I said, we're back to the, uh, standard easy ease here, um, and then if we want, we can go back to the start of the, the timeline and I'll sh we can toggle this. So now we're going to be ascending instead of descending. So we'll start from the bottom this time. And just like that, it's super easy to get these amazing, amazing distributions that wasn't really possible in After Effects up until now. Um, 
So yeah, uh, let me give you another quick little uh, piece of information while we're still in this composition. So uh, like I said, this is great for layers, but if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to actually move the layers uh, in, in the timeline, like we normally do when we use Lazy, we can actually select all these keyframes. And so in the past, this was pretty buggy, but now we figured it out. So uh, for you can select as many keyframes as you want, doesn't d disregarding if they're in different layers, and we can use Lazy for them also. So let's click here, and boom, just like that. Now our layers aren't even moving. We just have the keyframes moving, so we still get the same animation, but now all our layers stay in the same place. So let's say you had a bunch of different keyframes later down here in this in this timeline on these layers, and you didn't want to move them all across the timeline and get those all affected when you distribute the layers. Now you can just select the keyframes and just distribute those actual keyframes. Um, let's jump into the text demo here, and I'll show you a little bit more practical use of how we could use something like this. So as you can see, we have this uh, text layer right here. It's all in one layer, right? These are all different groups inside of this uh, uh, this one shape layer, uh, and to do this, you know, you uh, type out your text, right click, hit create text, uh, create shape layers from text, and boom. So anyways, uh, there's a mask on here, right here, um, and we have all these different little uh, shape layer groups moving up into this mask. So uh, right now, it looks like just the whole thing is moving up, obviously, because they're all happening at the same time and the same pace. So we can, we normally we would have to go ahead and we would select all of these layers and drag them out uh, one at a time, deselecting that, dragging out. But obviously, that is a huge waste of time, especially when we have access to a tool like this. So now uh, we can uh, use Lazy to quickly and very effectively distribute these keyframes across this layer. Uh, so let's do a little bit more of a dramatic ease here. So let's drag this bottom bezier handle out and then. Uh, let's also drag this one out too. So as you can see, as soon as we let go, we're getting that distribution right away. And uh, that's something that was a little bit buggy in the past before where all the original keyframes weren't selected and it was a huge mess, but cleaned up all the code. Uh, we actually got a new developer, he's awesome, and we've been making some great improvements. So this should be a very rock solid product and you should be able to uh, really utilize this to its maximum potential. Anyways, let's see what this uh, little animation looks like now. Beautiful. Okay, so obviously we went the wrong way there. Uh, so let's uh, toggle the uh, descending toggle, and now we'll start from the beginning. So as you can see, we have this first layer coming up very quickly, and then the middle layer is coming up uh, more so uh, together, like as you can see here in this, in this curve. And then the ending layers come up uh, farther apart. So this is a very dramatic curve, uh, and also not a whole lot of, uh, actually a very uh, long amount of distribution. So let's make this more like 10 frames. And as soon as you type in your frame rate and hit enter, it'll update that curve automatically also. <clears throat> Had a little bit of an issue here. I think we didn't select all of those layers. So let's do that. And then boom, perfect. Okay, cool. So now that's more more pronounced. Where uh, this, this would probably be something that you'd be uh, looking more to to get here. So, like I said, unlimited possibilities. You can do whatever type of easing you want on this. Let's go. Let's do a very dramatic uh, ease out and a uh, and so essentially all these first layers should come up should come up at the same time. And then we'll end with those last layers coming up very slowly together. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So tons of different ways to use this. I'll give you one last quick little demonstration. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, we cleaned up a lot of the uh, bugs that were happening in the old version. Uh, so now let's say that we have an animation here and we have the whole layer uh, scaling up from 0 to 100, starting here, as you can see, at 0 ending at 100 here, and there's all these different groups inside this layer uh, that are also scaling up to 100. So, uh, and then later in the animation, as we can see, they're at 100, all these different groups are, and now they're scaling back down to zero. Oop, hit the caps lock there. Now they're scaling back down to zero. So, in the previous version, it was uh, pretty buggy to go ahead and distribute only select keyframes, but 
we've since revamped that and let me show you a little bit of how that works. So if we go ahead and we select those layers all within the, this, uh, all, we select all those keyframes within this layer, I'm sorry, we can then go and drag out our Bezier handles here. And boom, perfect. Now we have this awesome distribution only for the keyframes that we selected, all the while, all the while leaving these previous, or these, uh, these keyframes over here completely intact. So again, same great interface, same great tool, same functionality. It's all just been improved. We've gone through, uh, ripped out a bunch of the code, rebuilt it, and it should be working flawlessly and has a lot of different uses. I mean, I use this thing every single day in my motion graphics career, whether it's distributing layers like this, doing text animations. Um, it's really cool when you have different layers falling from above the scene. So let's say you have like a bunch of, I don't know, popcorn falling from the top of the scene. Uh, you can distribute it so that, you know, the first few pieces come on slowly and then you have a bunch in the middle and then it ends with like the last little piece of popcorn trickling down. There's just so many uses. I use it all the time. Uh, give it a shot. Uh, give it a trial. See what happens. I'm sure you guys can find many more uses than it and I've discussed in here. And uh, yeah, hope you guys like it. Thanks.